Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this, we're going to see a problem. Minimum array end. I will also tell you again, we will not see any concept or stuff, but the thing which we will be thinking of and applying that in algorithm that will ultimately be called as bit interweaving or also called as bit interleaving or bitwise interleaving. Cool. Because you know that it is simply some operations of and and stuff which is applied so we know that the actual basic bitwise properties we're going to be used here so what it says okay we have integer n in x now i have to construct an array of positive integer nums of a size n so i have to construct an array of size n in which the first condition is that nums of i plus one should be greater than its previous element which is nums of i so if i am creating an element creating an array of size n the i plus 1th index element which is nums of i plus 1 should be for sure more than i'm not saying equal to i'm saying more than nums of i which is the just previous element and also okay this is one condition next condition is that the result the ultimate result of the bitwise and of all the numbers of this array nums should be equal to should be Okay, the result of the bitwise and operation between all the elements of nums should be equal to x. It should be equal to x. Now, if I focus, okay, I will come on to this line later on. But if I focus on that, I have some numbers again. Let's imagine I have nums of 0, nums of 1, nums of 2, until nums of n minus 1. I have these n numbers. I am saying their bitwise and operation should be exactly equal to x. When is that possible? First thing I will ask you, when this will be again, if I ask you, okay, it is at least x, which means x or more than it, more than that, when is that possible? If I, let's imagine that x can be represented as some binary form, arbitrary, I have taken this number, let's say 10010. Then for all of these AND operations to come and result an x, at least, so for sure, all of them should have these, okay, 1 at the 1 index, 2 index, 5 index 2 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 should be at the 1 2 and 5 index in all of them in all the numbers it should be there why is that the case why is that the case it is the case because if any one of them has a zero at these required places at these required places then the and for all of them all of them will actually be a zero and this will become a zero and thus it will never become an x so one thing is for sure that I will have to know what is the binary representation of my number x and I have to make sure that all these numbers because I have to build the array so I know how the array will look like. So I will have to make sure that all these numbers of the array should for sure at these corresponding locations I know at index 1 at index 2 at index 5 I need to need to have my bit as set and in all of them that should be the case okay but there was one more condition it should be exactly equal to x which means that one of the numbers one of the numbers again make sure that this binary form of one is on all the numbers but i need to make it exactly equal to x which means that if i do a and operation for all of them then the other the other places should actually turn out to be a zero how I can achieve that? I can simply achieve this by simply saying that, bro, I will by default put in the very beginning, I will by default put all the remaining bits as zero. And this is the same way saying that in the very beginning number, that is a number x. The very beginning number is a number x itself. How that achieved? By simply firstly saying, okay, all the bits of this x should be one for all the digits, for all the digits, like all the nums of i this one should be there but i also need to make it exactly equal to x and i know after doing the and operation i take okay all of them should be one only then the and will be one if any one of them is zero and will be zero so if i take the first one as all the remaining bits as zero i will make sure that i will get my answer but rn why only you placed in the first one as all zeros why did not you place the last one as the remaining bits as zeros because if you remember i also have to make sure that my numbers are increasing 
my numbers are increasing if i will place a 0 0 0 in the first bit then i can maybe make sure okay in the next bit i can have a 1 0 0 like this so it is actually increasing actually increasing so i have to make sure numbers are actually increasing okay so one thing we have sorted out is that the first number of my the first number of my entire array will look like a one again will it exactly be a binary representation of my number x i have taken the same x x was a 100110 zero, zero, one, one, zero. so the first number of the array will look exactly like the binary representation of x now if you had focused on one more thing one more thing is that i have to get the minimum possible value of nums of n minus 1 which is the last element of the array and i also know that i cannot go and build the entire array manually i cannot go and build 18 elements even defining the size of 18 is also not possible and if if and if it, it would have been possible and if let's say you find a workaround to get it in o of one space still time of what the time complexity of o of 1 8 is also not recommended for one second time then what i have to do i have to find a pattern now by using my bit manipulation technique i know i'm simply applying an and operation i know i have to also make sure the next number is increased but i know that i have to increase my number but i also need to make sure that i do a minimum very minimal increase required because i want to make sure the ultimate end number which is number of n minus 1 should be as minimum as possible so i tried to build the exact sequence by myself so i took the first number which is x i realized why the first number should be x then i also made sure that all the one locations which is x1 locations should exactly be there they cannot be changed so you can see all these one locations should exactly be there okay no matter what these can never change these can never change so these will for sure for sure be there in this entire sequence again i never know that how big the sequence is but no matter how big the sequence is these all ones of x will for sure be in my entire sequence of nums now now i have a opportunity to in to basically modify my sequence in the very beginning you know that okay all these red ones red goalies are fixed now in the very beginning i know that okay the first element of the array is also fixed which is x i wanted to start with the minimum number although if i wanted i could have started with a one 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 also one 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 also but then you will say okay in literal part i have to have to increase right so if i have to increase a number i will have to put a bigger number if i by default will start with, with a bigger number i will end up giving even bigger number so i will start with a minimal number which is zero 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 only putting the required bits as one which is the required bits of x because i know ultimately my again i also have to make sure that all these bits should be zero and i place it as a beginning because i want to make sure the ultimate and operation should be a x only now the next option is okay go and try for the next number all these bits are fixed next number is okay for sure you will place any of the bit as one to get the next higher number now you have multiple options you can either place this bit as one or maybe this bit as one or maybe both the bits are one you have many options you can place maybe this bit as one because you know that it is a very big number you know the answer actually is long long so the number can be very big the number can be a 64 bit although the input is a 32 bit number but the answer ultimate end nums of n minus 1 it can be a 64 bit number so i know okay my i can place any of the numbers but make sure take minimum if i show you back this example again what is the minimum increase extreme left extreme sorry extreme rightmost bit has the least contribution if you remember extreme rightmost bit has the least contribution this bit has a contribution of 2 raised power 0 this bit contribution of 2 raised power 1 this bit contribution to 2 raised power 2 this bit contribution of 2 raised power 3 this contribution to 2 raised power 4 so you know as we go on from right to left the contribution of the bit increases so and i want minimum increase so i will try to make sure i am increasing the extreme leftmost bit first okay i will increase this one now i have to get the next higher number for sure i i can get okay next higher number maybe put this bit as one but if i put this, this bit as one i can also put this bit as zero again so that again you will see that okay, it was a zero one then i did okay because i am increasing this bit so by default it is increased already so you can put it as a zero because you want minimum increase 
So you put a one zero here. Then again you have to increase. Okay, put a one one here. Then again increase. Put a one zero zero. Then again increase. Put a one zero one. Then again increase. Put a one one zero. Then again increase. Put a one one one. So you realize what happened. You realize what happened. That if I just consider all these bit outside, so I had a zero zero zero. I went on to the next higher number, which was a zero zero one. Again. See it side by side. Then I went to the next higher number, which is zero one zero. The next higher number, which is zero one one. The next higher number, which is one zero zero. The next higher one zero one. The next higher one one zero. The next higher one one one. One one one. So that is how you realize that numbers are actually increasing. Simple binary form. This is a zero. This is a one. This is a two. This is a three. This is a four. This is a five. This is a six. And this one one one. If I would have taken separately, would have been a seven. So, if you will look at this image very carefully, what is happening? That you are taking these again. Fixed thing is fixed. X bits, X bits which are one are fixed. You cannot change them, and for all the bits, they will for sure stick. For the remaining bits which are zero, you gradually kept on increasing, kept on increasing zero zero one zero one zero and so on and so forth. So, if I ask you, what will be the nth nth number? And its number is this number. Let's imagine. Let's imagine that you would have asked for NS seven. So this is the array which you have built. Technically, this is the array which you have built. Although in the program you cannot build the array because NS one e eight. You cannot build it. So this is the final element which you have to return. N equals to seven. How will you return this element? My question is this. I know one thing for sure that I have to return this element at N equal to seven. In the entire array, I know how this array is built. I know how the how I know how this array is how this array is built. This array is built by saying that I will have these six locations, which is the maybe sixty four bits I have. I know that these ones will for sure be there. So I by default in the very beginning placed these ones. Okay, these ones I placed in. Then I have to fill in these empty locations with what with the corresponding bit. Which is one one zero, right? One one zero. What is one one zero? One one zero is the sixth. One 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 zero is not nothing but in the numerical form, in the decimal form, is the number six. How we reach that that number? We reach because in the very beginning I have a zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six. So for N S seven, we know the first number we have zero zero zero. Next number we have zero zero one. So for the N equal to seven. The the replacement of the zero bits will be a number n minus one. Will be number n minus one. So I will get the binary representation of n minus one. That's a, nothing but a O of one operation, which is O of thirty two bit operation. So uh, ultimately, remember what I did was I firstly made a a temporary structure called as x bit because I grabbed the bits of x and made a temporary structure. Now in this temporary structure, I have to place some bits. Which re which can represent me the nth number. For that, I went on to the n minus one number. I get its binary representation. So this one one zero is the binary representation of number n minus one. So I can also say that I will do n minus minus, and then I will represent that n minus minus as a binary form, which is a which is for me a one one zero. Then I will go back to this input x bit array and. On all these zero locations, make sure on all these zero locations, I will place these bits. Okay, this is the first zero location. Okay, first location of the n bit. Make sure it is a x bit. It is a it is a n bit. It is a n bit array which I have made. This is a x bit array which I am populating. So I will go on to it again. You can say as a j pointer. You can say as a i pointer. I again skip these one locations. You can have to skip this. You cannot change them. So I will go. Uh, this is a zero. This is zero. Okay, place. Here a zero, which is what sir was n bit. Then move your j. Okay, move your j. Okay, move your i. Oh, i is actually pointing to a one. Uh huh. You can never change i of one. Okay, move it. Move it. Again, you can never change it. Okay, move it. Now it is again a zero. Okay, you have one. Place a one. Move both of them. I and j. I and j also moved. Now again, it's a zero. It's a one. Okay, place a one. Okay. Then okay, move on. Oh, it is ended, and we can also see that okay, this is one. We cannot change it. We have to skip it, and we'll just keep on going because this x bit can have a length of sixty-four because this is the nth number of my sequence length of n, so it can have a sixty-four bit. 
because we realize answer is answer can be a long long and that is the only stuff so doing, doing a quick recap of what we will do we will firstly get the number x in the binary form number x in the binary form we will name that number x as in the binary form when we will represent that number we will name it as x bit it will be a x bit then i will also get again i will reduce my number n by uh, by minus 1 then i will get a array again called as n bit okay i will get the n bit array then i will simply use two point technique i will point my j here i will point my i here on all the locations of x bit having my zero value i will be placing corresponding n bit value here and this is called as bit interleaving i i am using two bit representations or basically two bit values and basically mixing them so i am using n bit to actually mix it with x bit this is called as bit interleaving technique so in this i am i will use this and i will actually place a zero here then again i will be simply using my two pointer technique also i will be simply moving my i and j pointer and i will move okay i can i can only replace my i location if the bit is zero not a one because one i cannot change and then ultimately i will be getting ultimately i will be getting my x bit value but make sure you have to return a long long you have you have to return a long 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 you have to return which means you have to convert this final x bit value which is the nth number for you which is the number of n minus one for you you have to convert that back to a back to a number so just converting this bit representation back to a number which is contribution of this is zero contribution of this is one to two h power one contribution this is one to h power two and so on and so forth contribution of this is zero to two h power zero this is how we get the contribution of a bit and thus finally adding these all these we will get the sum or basically we will get the nth number and that's the answer cool let's see the code again people have explained it very trickily like very hard but this is the most easiest most optimal answer and the most easy explanation which you can understand for this firstly as i showed you i will firstly get the x bit x bit says binary representation of x and this will help me make sure what all places are already one because i can never replace those places then i will have a n bit make sure i have reduced the n already so i am actually dealing with n minus 1 here i'm dealing with n minus 1 here then i went on and converted and said okay if the corresponding ith bit is set in x then make the x bit of i as 1 the corresponding ith bit is set in n make the nth bit as 1 if you don't know how these operations are done or you're confused by this just write bit manipulation by rm method you, you'll get a simple playlist watch that simple playlist of five ten videos you will be sorted with this now coming on back we realize we have to use two pointers i will point to my x bit j will point to my n bit and then i have to replace my x bit of i provided that x bit of i is not equal to one if the x bit of i is equal to one please bro move on move on move on next next point next point i cannot change my x bit of i when it is one if it is not then i will simply place x bit of i with the n bit of j and move both the pointers i and j both the pointers i and j and ultimately you will see that i have placed 64 because i know the nth number which is x bit right now can be a 64 bit number ultimately i have to convert that x bit back to my number so i went on and did on all the 64 bits i converted i am simply converting my x bit which is a binary form of a number back to my number which is called as answer ultimately returning that answer time complexities both time and space is constant because i am simply using a o of 64 time as you can see o of 64 time in the worst case and o of 64 space in worst case for space and this is your time and space which is constant cool i hope you got it bye bye take care and again if you have not joined the discord channel for any of the doubts confusions live discussions between us and other people go and watch that and see you guys in the next video until bye take care